and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Breezy if you're new here and in today's video we are going to be getting my life back on track because for the past few weeks I haven't filmed a video. I actually haven't done anything but lay in bed and almost cry because my face hurts so bad because I got all four of my wisdom teeth removed. If you see like this side of my face looks a little bit puffier it's probably because it's still swollen. But anyways, I'm going to be getting my life back on track. I am not going to be laying in bed watching Hulu today. We're going to be doing all the things I've been putting off and hopefully getting back into my productive girly era. When it comes to getting my life back together, planning is usually my best friend because sometimes when I haven't done anything productive in a while, I find it hard to get back into the swing of things because I have a huge list of things that I've been putting off and this usually makes me feel overwhelmed and I continue to procrastinate. But when I do sit down to plan what it is I actually need to do, I'm more likely to be productive. There are usually two ways I like to plan. So I either do this by updating my weekly planner or my calendar. I use my Notion as well as physically writing it down because I feel like it helps me remember what I need to do better. Or I'll just make a simple to-do list. Like right now, I currently have a list in my notes of everything I need to get done. And I've just been checking it off as I do them. And I feel like this helps because it gets everything that I need to do out of my head and I can actually see it. And I know that I won't forget anything. Since I've been recovering, the last thing on my mind has been keeping my room clean, but it has been slowly starting to get to me and I've been feeling a lot less focused and unwilling to do anything because my room has been such a mess. And if you didn't know this already, your environment is a direct reflection of your mind. So if your room's a mess, then your mind is probably a mess too. And this can lead to things like not being able to focus, depression, stress, and anxiety, which is the last thing any of us need right now. So if you're feeling a bit sluggish lately, it might be time to clean up your environment. When you fall out of your daily routines, it can be a little bit of a struggle to get back into any sort of normalcy. Trust me, I know this because I also know that when I'm trying to get my life back on track, I'm usually my own worst enemy. So I like to set some boundaries with myself. And I think the key is to start slow and then slowly work your way back into like your normal routines. For example, if my intention was to wake up in the morning and not use my phone first thing, then the night before, or the boundary I would set the night before would be to put my phone away from my bed so that I'm less likely to reach for it in the morning. Another example would be if I wanted to lay in bed and watch YouTube all day, I had to make sure that all of my work for the day was done before I opened the app. Practicing self-care can help motivate you because after you finish something that you've been working on, you'll be getting a simple reward. And when you reward yourself for doing something you needed or wanted to do, your brain releases a chemical called dopamine, which makes you feel good and makes you more likely to repeat the action later on. And this also helps when it comes to building a new habit. Plus, self-care isn't just wearing face masks and painting your nails. It could also be sitting in front of your TV, watching your favorite show, and eating ice cream. 
You have to do something you love after doing something you don't enjoy, but you know you need to get done anyways. And this is why if you can, you should practice self-care every day. That is it for today's video. I'm feeling slightly more productive than I was at the beginning of this video. And I'm also feeling a lot better because I haven't been in bed all day. So that is a win. You know, we're going to just start slowly and just work our way back into our normal routines. But with that being said, hopefully this video motivated you to get your life together. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.